you want to do some testing of mobile websites on the Safari browser, keep in mind that one of the things about Safari is the latest version is only available on the Mac operating system. So they used to have Safari available for Windows or PC based computers a while back, but they stopped supporting that. So for most, the most effective option is to uh, actually have a Mac and to test out Safari, uh, your websites in Safari on a Mac computer. You can get the older version of Safari on Windows, but it's not going to help you out too much. So when you're working with Safari and you want to test your sites, first of all, there's a couple of things you want to do. If you notice, as you're browsing various websites, they have this feature in here, I guess you can call it a feature, where as you're browsing a site, it only keeps the primary uh, domain visible. So even though you're browsing through and exploring various parts of the site, it hides the path. So it can be very helpful to see the full path as you're going through a site. So the way you can fix that, and I'm going to show you another setting to change as well to help with your mobile device development and testing. So I'm sorry, I did that pretty quickly. You go to the Safari menu, Preferences, and then click on the Advanced tab on the far right. To, turn, to change that show full website address, just click the box there for smart search field. Check the box for show full website address and that will always show you the full path of the website or web page you're on. Now in order to display the developer tools in Safari, there's another checkbox at the very bottom of this advanced tab on your preferences. So check the box for show develop menu in toolbar and you'll see that develop menu appear in the menu for Safari. So we can close this out here and I'm just going to go back to the home page. So in order to test your mobile test your site out in mobile in Safari, what you can do is enter responsive design mode. So go to the develop menu, enter responsive design mode, and you'll see here this looks very similar to other developer tool options in other browsers. You can click various devices here. Uh, one cool thing I like about it, I actually think I like this interface the best compared to other browsers. One cool feature is if you click a second time or multiple times on a particular device, it will actually change the orientation or rotate the device from portrait to landscape or vertical to horizontal orientation. So it just gives you additional options there as you click through. Now take note, of course, I'm sure you are wondering, these are older devices, they're not the latest. I just don't have the latest version of this browser due to administrative uh, settings, I'm having delays on updates and things, but later on in the course we're actually going to learn about how you can actually input a user agent for any particular type of uh, device or browser. So we'll learn about user agents later and you can that way you're not restricted to the presets that are already in your browser. So there you go. You can explore your site, see what differences there are as you explore different devices and configurations. And you can see some of the differences. So that's how you can test in Safari.